Hello everyone, artist Charles Wolf. I hope you're having a great day today. Wanted to give you a quick update about the channel, Impulsive Artistry, let you know a few changes that I'm going to be making to the channel. And then I also want to talk quickly about the painting here behind me. This is called uh, Sunrise um, in Baja. Again, that's Sunrise in Baja or Baja Boats. I'm not 100% sure what I want to call it yet. So working that out, but we're going to keep going here. We're going to talk a little bit about it. So let's start with that. I'll get back to the update stuff in just a moment. Uh, this piece was a commission piece, and actually that's why I haven't had any new pieces up, any new paintings up this last week or the week before. Two reasons. One, I've just been very busy with a lot of other things going on, and I've been working on this commission. Um, whenever I do commissions, I try to take a little bit more time than I normally do, like on the videos, and make them as good as I possibly can. One of the things that took a little bit of time was all these foreground boats. As you know, I like to do just pure nature landscapes, so having to put um, actual objects into the painting was a little bit of a challenge trying to make it match my uh, aesthetic. What I want to talk about today though is this sky that I thought was very effective and worked pretty well and I'm going to just talk a little bit about how I did it. I started with some cobalt blue and a little bit of a liquid white. I love using the liquid white. It's a great medium overall and it really helps the uh, paint, the oil paint, this is an oil painting by the way, 16 by 20 inch canvas. Um, it helps the oil paint to move and to flow. So I really like using it. I really suggest that you give it a try. It's a great, great medium to be using. And I did like a lighter layer here. There is some lighter blue, and it kind of becomes darker, more of the uh, ultramarine blue, kind of filters in, maybe some cobalt as well. It comes over to the right-hand side. And then I took and this kind of gray-brown color over top of it, because it was kind of a grayish, cloudy sky, was done with a fan brush, almost dry, not a lot of medium added to it. I took some raw umber, I took some a little bit of black and some white to make kind of a gray mixture, and then I very lightly kind of did a layer over the blue. So you have blue underneath, and then the darker uh, gray on top, and I thought it looked really, really cool. I did a layer of pink, of course. There's a touch of a red line here, and I actually did a solid line all the way across, and then I just kind of obscured it with the orange, and that was uh, fairly effective. So you get that hint of the red without it being red line. It's been obscured. Um, also, some, of course, some yellow with a little bit of white added to give it kind of that creaminess. More creamy yellow, a little bit of the red to make it orange and then reflected down and then across to the bottom here, some bushes over here, and that's kind of the piece. I normally, uh, compositionally, just so you know if you're doing a painting like this, normally you wouldn't want to put the main object, which would be the nearest boat, right in the center of the canvas, but because I was working with a photograph that the client gave me, I wanted it to be reflective of that photograph and to match that photograph uh, somewhat accurately. So I kept the proportions the same, I kept the composition the same because this photograph was the one that they wanted to be painted and so I didn't alter that in any way. Normally I would not put the main boat right in the center. It just takes up a lot of the energy and it can make the canvas seem a little bit static. Um, I think the sky makes up for that fact and it works okay. Probably if you're just doing it for yourself, maybe not put the main boat, maybe off-center it a little bit more than I did. but. Uh, that's always personal preference, right? Um, and every rule can be broken. There really are more like guidelines, but traditionally and typically, you wouldn't put the boat in the main middle, but I did because it matched the photograph, just so you know. Let's talk a moment about this channel a little bit. I've been doing the painting videos for the last, oh goodness, four or five months now, maybe a little longer, and I'm having a great time doing that. I'm gonna keep doing them. Don't worry, I'm not stopping by any means. I'm just gonna be changing my publishing schedule a little bit. I've been trying to, trying and a little bit failing, to be honest, uh, putting a video out every week. I'm just having trouble keeping up with that schedule with my blogging that I do. So with everything that I'm doing right now, I just can't keep up with a week new painting and then editing and everything that it requires. And I try to make these editing uh, to be as good as I possibly can. I put a lot of text overlays, things like that, so that it's very informative for you all, so you know exactly what I'm doing. But it just takes time, a lot of time. So I'm going to be switching to it every other week. There'll be a new painting video every other week for this channel. I'm going to see how that goes. I want to make sure that it's still f a steady and something that I actually can do. So for the from next week, there'll be a new video. And then after that, it'll be two weeks. And then next, then there'll be another video after that and so forth. I hope that everyone can stick with me while there are some pauses between new videos. I know it's a little bit longer than is ideal. I am painting a lot and things that I'm not actually showing because I want to make sure what I am showing you is good. So if I have a two week period, I can actually maybe do one or two paintings um, or maybe two or three even and then pick the best one to show you. Always, I appreciate your comments, your support of this channel as part of my art. 
Um, you can find all of my paintings on my blog, impulsiveartistry.blogspot.com. Again, that's impulsiveartistry.blogspot.com. And you can buy some of my work or give me a commission of painting by contacting me. But you can buy some of my work on my Etsy shop. It's just Impulsive Artistry. Go to Etsy, type in Impulsive Artistry, and you'll find it there. I hope you're having a great week. So happy painting to you all. I'll be back next week with a new painting video. Uh, again, after every two weeks after that. Okay, have a great day. Thanks so much.